Come on one more time. Email. Email. One last time, can we lift our hands and say, Say thank you. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
So you never leave me. You said that you won't forsake me. You walk beside me. That is all that matters. You never leave me. You said that you won't forsake me. You walk beside me. That is all that matters. Who am I speaking to this afternoon? See, there's someone smiling.
favor. Lion of Judah. How could they chamber? Lion of Judah. Come on. How good they chamber? Lion of Judah. How good they chamber? First of all, I want to apologize for my lateness. But as you've forgiven me, amen. When it comes to God, I am crazy. You see, you may not understand my praise if you haven't been through my pain. You may not understand why I scream when I sing if you have not been through what I've been through. I've come to a place to realize that is not how much we scream that it's going to be a great year that makes it a great year. But it's unto him that God showed mercy. And I know that we've entered into a new year. And this month is about to end already. We are in the second month. We're about to enter into the third month. We cannot enter into this new month the way we began this one. And I know that there is a reason why you're here. Right in this moment, don't look at who is looking at you. For me, when it comes to my God, I don't care who watches me. Because when it comes to what I need from God, the Bible calls him the Alpha and the Omega. That means nothing begins and nothing ends without his knowledge. The Bible calls him the Eternal Rock of Ages. Come on, who am I speaking to? Are there some believers in here? Come on, are there some believers in this room? Are there some Christians in this room? circumstance to stop your praise I've come to a place where it's not about how many songs I sing it's not about what song I sing because he is the song so every time I look at him what a beautiful name it is what a beautiful name it is the name of Jesus Christ my king what a beautiful name it is nothing compares to this what a beautiful name it is the name of so my beloved is the most beautiful Amongst thousands, yeah, thou, my beloved, my beloved, the most beautiful amongst thousands, yeah, and thousands, my beloved, my beloved.
more time. is here. His presence is here. Come on, His presence is here. worship you, Lord. We worship you. Ah. We worship you. Yeah. You are wonderful. You are marvelous. You are glorious. Ezebube. 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 Why crown on it say, I a beer for your me, Titi Quafaman Yacupone, the Capantana Macos, Italiano, come on, come on, his presence is here. We don't need to sing another song. Nobody like you. Nobody like you. Nobody like you. Nobody like you. You are the deliverer. <laughs> the one who delivers. You are Jehovah Jireh, my provider. Ah, oh, oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> we love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. Words cannot express how great you are. 
great you are, great you are. What a glorious God you are. Yeah. Even when we are not able, he is able. Even when we are not faithful, he is faithful. Ah. You see, some of you may not understand why some people are expressing themselves this way. If you've not, oh, hey! David said, who am I that you are mindful of me? Ah. And the all of his kind Your love is patient You feel my heart so much peace and joy you're amazing you make my life feel brand new Waymaker, 
miracles keep light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. Is he a way maker for you? Say, way maker, miracle worker, promise keeper. This is the part I love. He says this. Even when I don't see it, you're working. Even when I don't feel it, you're working. You never stop. You never stop working. You never stop. You never stop. Even when I don't. Even when I don't see it. Even when I don't feel it. Even when I don't feel it, you're working. You never stop. sing this again. Some of you may not understand. The Bible says, let the poor say I am rich and let the weak say I am strong. So that means when I look into my bank account and it's not accounting. When I look into my bank account and the finance is not financing, I have to look at that bank account and say, even if I don't see it, you're working. Even when I don't feel it, you're working. You never stop. You never stop working. Hey, who is believing God for a testimony? Yeah, yeah. Even when. Even when I don't see it, you're working. Even when I don't feel it, you're you, working. You, 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 you. you never stop. Yeah. You never stop. someone is going through. So maybe they may not have enough faith for themselves tonight. But I'm holding your hand. So all those sitting down, they're not used to this kind of stuff, right? But I told you, no, 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 don't force no one to stand up. But me, I'm crazy. Whether you stand, you don't stand. 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 What are you saying? Uh -huh. You don't stand. What are you saying? Come on. You don't stand. What are you saying? You don't stand. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? One leg to the left side. One leg to the. One leg to the right side. One leg to the. Everybody go down low. That, that. <laughs> that, that was just to encourage those who are sitting. They were still not moved. <laughs> hey, you see, sometimes worship leaders, these people let us suffer. Huh? Imagine you're, you're lifting up worship, you're sweating. And you look and someone's looking at you like this. <laughs> but tell your neighbor, it is well. Oh, it is well. I told you, I'm crazy about my God. You see, some of us, we can't, some of us, we can't go to the club anymore, mommy. 
So when we come to church, every move, every, every that we know, this is the place. And, and for me, I like to balance it out. David said, I will enter his gates with thanksgiving. And then the courts with praise. Before I enter into the Holy of Holies. So, so we've entered small. Now can we shake ourselves a little bit? Oh, can we shake ourselves a little bit? But it's great to see one of my big inspirations here, Minister Tabafu. Come on, this man. <laughs> what, what you see some of us doing now, these are the ones who started it and opened the way for some of us to come through. Amen. Are we ready? Can we go to A? Otherwise, my voice cries. Amen. Say amen. amen. In the morning when I wake up, I will sing my praise unto you, my Lord. I will shout, I will dance to you. You are being my help for now to live. Hey, 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 my God is good. Oh. Hey, hey, my God is good. Oh. Hey, 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 my God is good. Oh. Hey, 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 my God is good. Oh. Everything I double, double. 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 Oh. Say, Lua, Lua, Lua.
say glory be, glory be, glory be, glory be, glory be to the Lord in the highest. Hallelujah. Everybody shout hallelujah. This was part one. So part two, no, no, not today. Part two will be another day. <laughs> I know some of you are taking, but I have to go home. Part two will be another day. Amen. But <laughs> I want to say, I want to say thank you for having me here. Um, I appreciate the team, the leaders of the church for having me here, for having this crazy guy here. And um, let, let me say, <laughs> let me say one last thing. Okay, 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 okay. One last thing. So, by the grace of God, you see, one of the things about me is that I like to inspire our young generation to know that you can serve God and still make it. That you can serve God and still be a role model. That you don't have to follow the others. So, by the grace of God, God has allowed me to do my own concert at the O2 twice. And, and this year, in June, the 22nd, we're going back to the O2. But guess what? For the first time in their history, you have free entry. You don't have to pay for a ticket. All you have to do is make sure when the tickets are out, you register. But God led me to make this third one free. 
And the reason being, one of the reasons apart from God leading me, is the fact I don't know how many of you heard of that young girl that was stabbed in Croydon. When I heard her story, you see, most of the times we think about the victim, but we, all, we don't think about the one who pulled the knife. And for me, I feel like if our generation, our youth, had inspiration, had a place to be, had another way pointed to them, they would not have to go down that way. So God said, make it free so that our old, our young can all come and you can sow the seed of God in them. So on that night, it's a Saturday night, it doesn't clash with your church, don't worry. If you're planning to go to the club, come to club in the O2. It's going to be a great time. So God bless you and thank you for having me. Amen. Let's give God some praise. Come on, we can do better than that. Everyone standing. Come on, you've got to praise God. You've got to praise God. Come on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We thank you, God, for this service, God. It is all about you. We heard testimonies in words. We heard testimonies in worship. And we heard testimonies in praise. We thank you, God, because you're the only one that can take us there. We thank you, God, that we've been able to come before you as a church, as a body, as a house, and lift up your holy name. We thank you, God, that even as we leave, your presence still resides in us. So we don't leave the temple of God without you. We've left with you. Can we give God some praise? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, wow. Wow. You guys, you guys are breaking protocol. Um, but I'll do one last one. But I want you to listen to the words of this one. Um, I'll give him numbers. So I praise in the valley. Praise on the mountain. I praise when I'm sure. Praise when I'm doubting. I'll praise when I'm numbered. Praise when surrounded. And this is the part I love. Because praise is the water. My enemy drowning. Oh, as long as I'm breathing, I've got a reason to praise the Lord. Oh, my Surrounded. Praise when surrounded. Say, praise is the water. Praise is the water. My enemy. My enemy's out. As long as I'm breathing. As long as Quiet, my God is alive. How could I keep it? 
I won't be quiet. I won't be quiet. My God is alive. So how could I keep it inside? I won't be. I won't be quiet. My God is alive. Sunday. Yes. So that means he's coming back. Yes. You want him back? Yes. This year? Yes. Okay, 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 okay. So it's going to happen. It's going to happen. Praise the Lord. Let's appreciate the ministry of Ed Smith. Come on, let's appreciate his ministry. Praise God. Amen. Praise the Lord. You may be seated for just a moment. We're going to be releasing everybody. Amma, come. This was, I've known her since she was 11. No, 11, 12, since she was 12. So. I was actually going to speak about it today. Very quickly, your steps are ordered by the Lord. Your steps are really ordered by the Lord. If I, now I can see. Even when I was a child, God was calling me. You're not too young to serve God, right? It was when I was in school, right? I got into some trouble and I'll get sent out of class a lot. One of the teachers that I would go to, she was a woman of God. She started to teach me the things of the word. Then Lano came up. Lano started to teach me Bible study when I was in secondary school. Then Lano said, I have to bring you to church. This was where he brought me. This was where he brought me. It, it was in Bruce Grove, but this is where he brought me. And so even though I was being naughty in class, thank God there was a woman that was filled with the Spirit. 
Today, Sister Jade spoke about impact. She's gone to be with the Lord today, but the impact still continues because she's raised someone up. She's raised someone up. So when I was getting sent out of class and I was distracted, God had someone seated there. God had someone there that picked up on what was going on. She realized that there was something more than bad behavior. She realized there was something more than challenged behavior. And when teachers will label you and say you amount to nothing, when we say that our words are fire, when we say that our words are fire, she spoke another word over me. She t I tell you something. There was a time when I was in, I got that day, I got sent to the exclusion room like four times. She got up frustrated and she said, enough is enough. She took me to a wall. She had a, a, like an innovation wall and it had so many different kinds of inventors on the wall. She took me through every single person on the wall. She said, who is this? What did they do? Who is this? What did they do? Then there was a blank space on the wall. And she said, who is that? I said, it's a blank space. She said to me, no, get yourself on the wall. She said, you was not. She sowed the seed of life. She said I wasn't called to be a child to be disruptive. If it wasn't because of her words that she instilled with me, I tell you, sometimes you see your children like that. They need encouragement. They need love. I'm telling you something. But even when it was missed in my house, I tell you something. God being so faithful, God being so loving, he sent a man to me. He sent a woman to me that still continued to say you will become everything God put in you. You will become. You are not a bad child. You are not a disturbed child. You are a child of God. Stand up and take authority. She sowed the seed. She sowed the seed. She sowed the seed. And then Lano continued. He started to water it. The, the teachers didn't know how my behavior changed. It was because God showed up. It was because God showed up. When I was predicted all kinds of low grades, I managed to get A's to C's to go and move on. This wasn't mentioned of me. Oh my God. Oh my God. It breaks my heart when we see our young people and we see just the emotional response that they're acting out and we miss what's going on in them. We miss what's going on in them. Where does a young man get the intent to carry a knife? If he can pick up a knife to, to kill someone, he can also pick up the Bible to give life. What are we putting in the hands of our young people? In 2018, I lost my younger brother. He was murdered. He was murdered. And I tell you something. From that day... If I had not been serious about God, that was the day I said, Lord, I surrender all. Because you was calling me from when I was a child. But now I realize something. Now I realize that it could have also been that because I didn't rise up, I couldn't also challenge some of the things my brother was going through. It could have also been that. And so I say this to say, you are not here for a reason. You are not here for any reason. Just to come and sit down and listen to men speak. No. You are here because God put you in this house. Can you believe that? Your steps are ordered by the Lord. When he comes and brings you here to be charged, it's so that you can go and charge others up. God needs your battery to be charged up so that you can also charge others up. Make impact. Make impact. Oh my gosh. The thing is this, we never planned for the service to be like this, but the Holy Spirit did. He knows what every man in here needs, so he said this is how he would have it. He's raising people up in this house. Please be attentive to the, the, the announcements. When he's calling for volunteers, even when you hear the announcement for volunteers, it is not man making the announcement. It is actually God. It is actually God. Because it's in the house of God is where we're really supposed to build our skills. It's in the house of God where we're really supposed to be refined. So when you hear an announcement, don't think it is Pastor Nims calling the announcement. It is God that is calling you to serve, to be in the presence. So that when you go out, you know who you look like. 
I'm reminded of a scripture. When, when the Pharisees, I believe they came to God and the Christ and they said, should a man pay taxes? And Christ said, look at the coin. Whose face is on the coin? And it was Caesar's face on the coin. And so Christ said, give to Caesar. What is Caesar's? But give to God. What is God? And I want you to know that you are of God. And because of you are on God, you're of God, you're of God. His image is on you. So when he was saying, look at the coin, whose image is it? He was saying, you are also an image printed. You've got God's print, um, image imprinted on you. Do you see? So what was Christ saying? That you're still supposed to have societal impact. But it's with the presence and the image of God. Whereas believers, we do not serve in the same way that the circular world does. Our charge is the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is our advantage. The Holy Spirit is our advantage. I'm telling you, if I tell you my story, huh, you, will, you will only know it's God. Some, some to, to be able to sum some things up, you have to have known who I was before. I'm telling you the truth. You have to have known who I am. I was before. And even when I assess the patterns, even the challenges that I went through, my sister went through. That's why I'm so guarded with my niece. Because it is a pattern the enemy uses. Do you see? And so I said, okay, if I have been disrupted in my lifetime, I must do something also for my niece. So there's a seed of righteousness sown within her. So that she knows she's not just born to be someone that is amazing in the world. First, you get your amazingness from God. And then you go. Christ said, occupy until I come. Occupy until I come. He gave talents unto men. What was these talents? Your ability, your capacity. You will see that some of the men that had talents, they were, they were, they were wondering, ah, why has this one got more than me? Sometimes you've got to stay in your lane. Work out the, 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 the talent God has given you. Bring that to materialize. Make that materialize. He said, occupy until I come. Occupy until I come. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so to every young person in this house, I just want to say, you are not too young to, to serve God. In fact, the younger you are is even better. The younger you are is even better. When Babylon made a call, he said, bring all the young men. There was a call for young men. So parents, even if you're not a parent, <laughs> as you mature, you become a guardian to someone. They made a call for young men. And Daniel showed up. So just as God is calling you, yes, the enemy also wants to do something with your life. So when it comes to creating a space where young people can enjoy themselves, let's allow for that to happen. Because they want a space where they can express themselves. And if they can express themselves in the house of God, then we know they will be raised in the spirit and the stature of God. Amen. Can we just appreciate God in this house? Can we just appreciate God in this house? I thought you would be standing by now. Can we appreciate God in this house? Can we appreciate God in this house? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can we appreciate our amazing pastor names? Our, uh, oh, 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 hold on. Can we appreciate our amazing pastor names? You know, oh, hallelujah. You see, this man does a lot of work in the community. Sometimes, and I'm telling you something, you might see it like he's super strength. But it's God that is charging him. If Lano didn't come, because Lano was under pastor names, if Lano didn't, and if he wasn't under somebody, where would my direction have been? We are all linked to one another. And then Lano brought me here. 
And then I sat under the word of Pastor Nims. Ah, this one is brutal. Hey, you must be scriptural. Where is the script? That, where are you? He is, but it is good. Because what Pastor Nims done, he put a seed in me that made me love the word. He put a seed in me that made me love reading. One of the first books I read was called The Believer's Authority. Imagine I read that book at 12 years old. Of course I'm going into school to do something crazy there. Of course I'm, go I'm telling you. It's because when I realized God had called me to stand in an authority, even my school, Mr. Clark is my teacher. Just to name, that was my teacher in school. That was my teacher in school. Can we appreciate him? That was my teacher in school. And I was even in one of the classes that I now I know they put the, the naughty kids in that class. But thank God he was also filled with God. Because he would tell me another word. Do you see? And so all our lives are interconnected. And so there were, I will never forget the day in Bruce Grove, Pastor Nims made an altar call. Hey, that I ran to the altar. I ran to the altar because there was something that said, this is your time. Do you see? And when he laid hands and he prayed for me, I left my old self on the altar. So when we make an altar call in church, run to the altar. Listen, as you are running, the old nature is leaving you. There is a declaration within itself. Don't worry that men are watching you. Run to the altar. Do you see? I'm so sorry, Pastor, but you, in, you contributed to how I am, so please. And I'm also still learning. Amen. I'm still also learning. We all grow. Amen. But can we appreciate Pastor Names, please? Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. It's great to see the young grow. It's great to see what God is doing in the life of Abba. And I believe that that is just a seed of what he's doing in the lives of younger generations, the next gen. And I appreciate what I hear. I appreciate what we see. And let's appreciate what God is doing in our young people. Amen. 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 It's special. Um, it's so important that the next generation feels supported by the past generation. Because I remember once, many years ago, I had some young people in my office, and they said the generation ahead of us, the generation before us failed us. And we don't want to fail any generation. We have a responsibility to make sure the ones that come, those who were ahead of us, you know, we acknowledge, but those who are behind us, we support. You know, so let's make sure that we affirm those ahead, but we pick up on those behind and make sure that nobody's left behind. You know, and that we continue to pour by the Spirit of God and by the grace of God into the future. It's one o'clock on the dot. And I know it's time to wrap up service, Emma. And so I know that why I brought you out is because I knew there was so much bubbling on the inside. And I knew that if you went home with that, you would feel spiritually constipated. You just got so much in there, like, <laughs> God, where do I let it out? And, and God help anybody around you. you be, ah! so, so I just knew that she needed to just release, you know, pressure. There was so much pressure. You just needed to let that out. Praise God. Uh, praise the Lord. So thank you so much for the word you brought to us. And sir, thank you so much for the ministry of the wor of worship that you brought to us today. Thank you so much. Praise the Lord. Um, and I thank God for the testimony. We thank God for mom. And there's a scripture that says affliction will not rise up a second time. Amen. So it, she will never have a representation of cancer Amen. in Jesus name. Amen. Amen. That cancer will never happen. And to uh, Justina, that brought that amazing testimony. We thank God for that. More testimonies your way.